Hey guys, let's haul Cincy one more time on this channel. Um, other than my club haul, which will probably be coming this weekend, um, I won't have another haul from Cincy for a while. We're just gonna get this small haul out of the way. And then of course, we'll talk about that club haul this weekend. Um, I've got my espresso triple shot from Black Rifle um, keeping me going. I've got a lot of videos that I need to get put out. Um, I've got this one plus that other club haul coming up and I've got my melting basket video coming up. Um, I don't think I'll get that one put out before Thanksgiving, but that's gonna be my holiday winter melting basket. Of course, I'm gonna have my Goose Creek empties for fall. Um, that'll be coming up after Thanksgiving as well. I'm gonna have another homeworks haul too. So I've got a lot of videos here on the docket. And I just wanna say happy Thanksgiving to everyone. If I don't get another video put out before Thursday, we're headed full speed into the holiday season and you know, Christmas shopping and all of that good stuff. So, you know, I know things are gonna get hectic for a lot of people here coming up pretty soon. If it hasn't already gotten hectic for you, I know the Christmas season, shopping season has already started for me, um, Black Friday deals and all of that kind of stuff. So as we draw near to the end of the fall home fragrance season, I really do hope you guys are able to be with somebody this year for Thanksgiving and the holidays in general. Um, spend that with people that you love and care about. Let's get into this haul video. I've only got six bars here to talk about, but I think five out of the six are keepers, if not repurchases for me. There's one that's kind of on the fence, but we'll start off with this one right here. It is Saint Knickerdoodle. And this one is from the Sense of the Season collection. My only one here from the Sense of the Season collection. Of course, I've put the label on the side of each of my bars with the scent notes included. It's baked apple, spices, and powdered sugar. I really, really like this. You guys know I love apple fragrances to begin with, okay? So with the name being Saint Knickerdoodle, I figured that was kind of a twist or at least a play on words for a snickerdoodle fragrance. But there's a lot of apple in this and it is really a baked apple. That's bordering on like an apple pie, an apple fritter. There's something very bakery here. It's even got a little bit of a creaminess in this. Um, it's not overly spicy at all. It does have a little bit of a sugary sweetness to that baked apple. It is definitely a baked apple though. It's not one of your fresher apples, especially compared to some of these other Scentsy fresh apple fragrances that I have. It really doesn't even remind me of a snickerdoodle, to be honest. There's just so much apple here. I mean, in a roundabout way, that could be an apple pie fragrance. It is very bakery. I love this one. I hope I can find this to put it in my club. I don't know if this one's gone on sale, if it's gone on clearance, um, but if it is available to put in a club, I certainly will. Uh, that's Saint Knickerdoodle. And the next one, which actually really took me by surprise, um, I think it's new this year. It's Wild for Fall. Um, this fragrance right here, along with two others, I got in the Harvest 3-pack. So I don't know if you can buy them individually, but I do think you can put them in a club individually, but I don't know if you can just buy them individually. Um, I'm gonna talk about this one first because this was my favorite from that Harvest 3-pack. Um, notes on this one are Towering Douglas Fir, Satsuma Mandarin, and Golden Sunflower. I guess maybe Golden Sunflower? That, uh, no, I mean, I typed it out on my label maker, so I had to have known Golden Sunflower was in here. It's kind of surprising, but you know, now that I see that, and I kind of put two and two together here with smelling this, I've already put this one in the warmer before. It was actually a really good performer. I really like this one. It's like an early fall fragrance for me. Even for being a tree fragrance, noticeably, that Douglas fir is very prominent in this fragrance. It's very zesty and very bright, kind of slightly tart mandarin here. And that sunflower, yeah, I can see it. It's not a real floral fragrance by any means, but there is a very noticeable tree note here too. So combining that with that really bright zesty orange 
And then that kind of sunflower, that happy, bright sunflower in the background. And it's just really unique. Something I've never really smelled before. Um, and I do think I have this already in a club of mine, one of my clubs. Uh, yeah, it's a keeper, wild for fall. The next one in that Harvest 3-pack is Cozy Vanilla Pumpkin. I haven't used this one yet. Fresh Harvest Pumpkin, Cozy Vanilla, and Sparkling Cinnamon. Okay, Vanilla Pumpkin Marshmallow Vibes from Bath & Body Works. But it's not just that. There's, um, there's something extra here in this. It's not as foody as I was expecting when I first saw this one when I placed my order. But it does have some sweet, kind of lightly spiced, foody vibe to it. There's something in the background though. I mean, cozy vanilla and pumpkin, that really fits. That descriptor, it has a very cozy feel to it. Almost like cashmere, maybe even kind of a warmer cotton feel to it. It's a coziness adding to it. Uh, that's cozy vanilla and pumpkin. I like that one. I'm intrigued by it. It does have vanilla pumpkin marshmallow vibes to it, um, but just a slight twist on that fragrance. Uh, the next one we have here from that three pack of the Harvest Collection, it's Maple Rum Cake. This is the only one from this haul that I don't know if I'm a huge fan of. Buttered rum, cinnamon sugar, vanilla frosting, and luscious maple drizzle. So yeah, I have not melted this one yet, but I've smelled it several times. I'm just, I don't know. There's something about this one that just kind of feels hot. I don't know what it is. Almost like a, a habanero pepper. And even from that to a different degree, almost like hot sauce. I mean, it's strange. Mixed with what I would consider maple, but it doesn't jump out to me as a real sweet sugary sweet maple here. No, it's just, it's odd. I, I don't know. On cold, I would expect a fragrance called maple rum cake with these notes. I would expect it to be more, uh, just easier to digest. But this one, no, I, I just, there's just something off about it. And even when I smell the bottom of the wax here, something off too. I can kind of get that cake vibe too. I can't, just kind of slightly. It's not a real bang in the face bakery note to this. Like I always say with some of these that I just am up in the air with, I'm gonna have to melt it. That's maple rum cake. And we're gonna finish this haul out with a bang with the next two bars. Start with this one, Silver Bells. Um, I've used this one. And notes are minty candy canes, welcoming pear, caramel, and vanilla sugar. Okay, the first time I smelled this, I was getting really strong pink sugar vibes from this. Like a minty, pepperminty, pink sugar. If you guys know the Aquilina fragrance, pink sugar, you'll know what I'm talking about. Pink sugar is a fragrance note or, or a fragrance blend that is used quite a bit in vendor wax too. To be honest, I was surprised to see it with Scentsy or to get that feel with Scentsy. But yeah, undeniably pink sugar here, but it's got that cool mintiness to it too. Kind of a caramel vanilla sugar base. I mean, it's interesting. This was a great bedroom choice for me. It was one that I really like to kind of put in the warmer going to sleep with. Just kind of a calming and soothing fragrance to fall asleep to. Uh, minty fragrances, pepperminty fragrances, those kind of fragrances were, I mean, they work well to kind of go to bed to. Surprisingly, I like this one and I'm not a huge fan. Actually, I've grown to dislike pink sugar fragrances, even though it has that feel to me. I really like this one. Uh, that's Silver Bells. And the last one was the huge hit of this haul. It's this one right here, it's Frosted Vanilla, and I've used it a couple of times. Notes are Sweet Vanilla Bean, Birch Bark, and Frosty Air. Apparently, there's been some pushback from this one in the Scentsy community. I love it, and I'm never one to question why people don't like fragrances. I know we're all gonna have our own opinions. Um, Frosted Vanilla, though, that name, I feel like it just, it doesn't do this fragrance justice. I mean, you could see that name on the website and just scroll right past it and think, okay, Frosted Vanilla, just 
another vanilla frosting fragrance or something like that. But no, in this case, they don't really, they're not referring to an icing, like a frosted vanilla icing. They're not referring to it like that. They're frosted almost in an icicle way, um, like an icy vanilla. So frosted vanilla, to me, when I first saw that, I thought, okay, it's just gonna be like a vanilla frosting fragrance. It's really not. And that birch bark, it's what really does it for me. It's like a darker woodsiness to this, added with that kind of minty vanilla. I actually find it really unique because of that birch bark, that dark woodsiness to it, added with that kind of icy, cool vanilla. And this one again, another really kind of nice bedroom, uh, minty vanilla fragrance. Love this one. I've already got it in a club of mine. Uh, that is frosted vanilla. Great way to end this haul. Okay, guys, like I said at the beginning of this video, I've got several videos coming up. I don't know if I'm gonna really get anything out before Thanksgiving. If I do, it'll be a surprise to me. So hope you guys enjoy the holiday with family and friends. Um, happy Thanksgiving to everybody out there that celebrates Thanksgiving. Um, I'll see you here pretty soon. If not before Thanksgiving, I'll see you this weekend, hopefully with a couple of videos. I appreciate you guys watching. I'll talk to you soon.